Hi, Hiram here. There's been a lot of interest in refilling these chafing dish fuel canisters with alcohol. Uh, don't know how it, well it'll work, but I thought I'd give it a try here so that you don't have to. I've taken one of the canisters. I won't name the canister so I don't get them all mad at me, but uh, I took one of the canisters, filled, put three fluid ounces or about 90 milliliters of methanol in here. Let it set. Now, I, what I did was to get it in there, I drilled a hole that's big enough for my basting thing, and I measured it out with that. Now, two times now I've tried to light this, and it's barked at me. So we'll see what happens here. Don't hope you don't mind. I use a long-range lighter. Ah, of course, nothing this time. Uh, I don't know if this wick is quite good for alcohol. It doesn't blue. It doesn't burn good blue. Of course, that could be some of the old fluid is still in there. I'm going to use the all-in-one rack. Put that on there. I've got two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 85 degrees. I don't know if this is any hotter than uh, the original material that was in the bur in the chafing fuel, but uh, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're 16 minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 186 degrees. The flames have gotten somewhat larger. Uh, I can't tell if maybe vapors are coming out through that hole. But I think you can see that the flame is climbing up the side of the pot from this open slot. So, interesting. It doesn't look like it's unsafe, but I think vapors are just coming out through that hole. There we have 210. to eleven. Come on. There we have 211, 212, and 2127. Okay. Let me put this out. Okay, you get pops like that. I think that's the uh, glycol that's left over in there popping. This isn't exactly the best kind of wick for this. But. Uh, about 18 minutes, I think I showed you on second camera. The flames got a little bit bigger and bluer. I think that there are vapors coming out of the hole there that I put in for the refill. The canister is hot to the touch. Not so much the other time with the uh, fancy heat, but with this alcohol, it is hot. Okay. Not exactly another you know barn burner here. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil. Oh, wanted to blow that out and get a weight. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 21 minutes, 27 seconds. Uh, that was with flea, yeah, free. Three fluid ounces of methanol that I put in here. When this cools off, I'll take a weight and I'll put how much was consumed down below. I think a better deal with this would be to pull this center part out completely and put a roll, not this big, but a roll of carbon felt in the center of that. That would make a wick, I think, for burning this. I think I'd said, well, I did say earlier that twice when I tried to light this, it popped on me, it barked, just because I guess vapors built up. Let me see what happens here. No, doesn't do it now. Okay, so I'll get a weight on this. I'll put it down below like I said. I thank you for watching. I hope this helps the people that said about putting alcohol in here. Uh, I don't think it can be done with this wick. Like I said, maybe carbon felt. So I thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.